Hey, my little friends, how are you today? It's great to be with you. So we've been talking about being best friends with Jesus and how we can get closer to Jesus as our best friend. So I have another little thought I want to share with you today and Jesus also. It says, Hear how, here is how we can become better friends. And that's what we've been learning about, becoming better friends with Jesus. It says, the next time you pray, and and and, and, and the, I think that this is pretty cool, because um, Jesus knows that it's hard when we can't see him. I know we don't see him like we do our best friends. And he goes, I want you to know, I know it's hard that you can't see me. I love Jesus for that. Your other friends can come over and they can, you can hang out. You can have fun. You can run around the room. You can, but Jesus is invisible. In other words, you can't see him like I can see you. Okay. Now I'm talking on the phone, videotaping, and I can't see you, but I can picture every single one of your faces. And maybe I don't even know who you are and you're listening. And I am talking to you, even though I can't see you. So I guess that's kind of a, a way we can work things out. I mean, I can see myself because I'm talking to myself. But I love this about Jesus because he's concerned about that. He knows that you can't see him like you and I can see each other when we're together or you and your best friend or when you see your mom. But I know because I'm talking to you on the phone that you're there. You know why? Because you're listening. Now, this is really cool. So to me, you're invisible. But I know you're there because you're listening. And that may make it hard to remember, Jesus said, that I'm there. And not only that he's there, but he cares about you. I love that. He goes, I am there. If you decide to follow me when you ask Jesus into your heart, he says, I'm closer than any of your other friends. They live down the block. They live in another house. But through the Holy Spirit, he goes, and through my Holy Spirit, I live inside of you. Remember we talked about how you can accept Jesus in your heart and, and when you ask Jesus into your life, he comes in and he stays there. He says, I live in you. And now I don't know how he does it. And he, I talked to about it the last time. He said all of his secrets we're gonna know. All of our questions we're gonna get answered one day when we get to heaven, which I think is a really cool thing. But Today, I don't have all the answers, but he lives inside of us. And every minute of every day, Jesus is working in you and he's working all around you. When you feel moved to help someone, when you want to be kind to somebody, that's Jesus inside of you. When you love to, when you see love in the world, and you don't see a whole lot sometimes, but when you see love and somebody doing kind things, even when your mom sees kind things, the Bible, he says, I'm behind that. That's me. Letting you see love in everything. When you feel peace, when things are so hard, that's Jesus. He says, I'll help you remember and believe but you've got to do your part too. You've got to look for me, believe in me, and listen to my voice. Hmm. Because I'm there. Because I'm here. Because I'm here. You got to believe. You got to work. You got to talk to Jesus. You got to make sure that you let Jesus know everything that you're thinking. He already knows anyway, but he wants to hear your voice talk to him. He loves you. Remember, we're working out how to be better friends with Jesus. The next time you pray, you see, there's an idea. He goes, the next time you pray, sit 
on an empty chair. Imagine I'm in that chair listening to you. That's a good thing to do. Listening to you. And he said, I am listening. And you know what? He hears every word. I love that. So there's a scripture in the Bible. Here's another one. John 20 verse 29. Let's look at that. Now, if you remember, and it's about the story of Thomas, there's a story in the Bible in John about Thomas who really didn't believe when Jesus came back and after he died on the cross and he came back and he rose again. Thomas was, they call, the joke is about the do doubting Thomas because he had to, he goes, how do I know it's Jesus? Jesus is Thomas because thou hast seen me. Thou hast believed Blessed, I want you to hear this. Blessed are they that have not seen, yet have believed. Isn't that beautiful? Now, it's kind of like me talking on the phone to you. I can't see your faces, but I know you're out there. And I believe that you're out there. And I believe that you're listening because you tuned in. When you talk to Jesus and when you pray, you are tuning in to Jesus. Isn't that great? And that's one of the ways we become better friends with Jesus. I hope before all of this is over, you have become the best friend that you ever could to Jesus. Because that's what he wants to do is to be your friend. I love you. Great big hugs. See you, see you later. Hey guys, so today we're going to do a song challenge. We are going to choose a Sunday school song and we have to sing every other word. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can do it. What song do you want to sing? Your choice. Okay. Um, Jesus is the best friend. All right. Okay. Yes, he is. Go ahead. Oh, I started? Yeah, sure. We're not. Okay. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. He gave me nothing but <laughs> good and took away the bad. He picks me up when I'm down, cheers me when I'm sad. Jesus is the best friend I ever <laughs> I think we should do it again. Yes. But I think we should do every syllable. Okay. Oh, Let's try it. Okay. All so right. you get to start it. Change it up All a right. little bit. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. He gave me nothing but good and took away the bad. He picks me up when I'm down, cheers me when I'm sad. Jesus is the best friend I ever had. <laughs> Yours end up with had. That song had a lot of um, one syllable one words. Syllable words Should we do a different song? Yeah. Pick one that's lots of syllables. I am a C. That's letters, so I think it's probably going to be all ones. Let's just try it, though. Okay, all right. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. All right, okay. I am a C. I am a C H I am a C H R I S T I A N and I have C H R I S T in my H E A R T and I will L I V E E T E R N A L L Y. Spelling eternally was so hard for me when I was growing up in Sunday school. I would just make up a bunch of letters. I think it's fun because I got most of the E's. So if there is a song, um, first of all, I think that you should try this at home, and I think you should record yourself and post it, because I mean, that's fun. Why not fill social media with fun and silly things sometimes? So fun fact, my sister and I have a Thanksgiving song, and ever since we were little, we would sing this song on Thanksgiving about Albuquerque the turkey, and we would do every other syllable. It's like a weird Thanksgiving tradition. And now we have to teach it to the nieces yes. and nephews. Yes. Imperative. Yes. Well,
well, we hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye. 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 Okay, today we're going to draw a bird. Tweet. Okay, in other words, fine feathered friend. Okay, we're gonna start out doing this. He's gonna be on a branch and we're gonna go, don't touch your paper, but go straight down like this right to about here. Okay, now what we're gonna do his head. So start about here and you're gonna make a little almost like a circle, like this. Okay, see that bird's head? Now, you're gonna do this. Here, you're gonna go out like this for his beak, and then in, and then out, not quite all the way, and then like this, and then come up. See how he looks a little bit happy? Well, he is. Okay, and give him a little cheek there. And we're gonna give him an eye circle. And then we're gonna come down like this. Now, you're not gonna do a straight straight line coming down. You're gonna make it a little jagged like this because birds have feathers. So the bird comes down like this. See how I'm doing it kind of jagged? Like, I'm all nervous. So he come down like this. Then from here, you're gonna do this, okay? Then you're gonna go back up a little bit, right like this. See that? Okay, stop. Now, you're gonna come down, do this a little bit. See that? Now you're gonna come down here, and you're gonna go up a little bit, and then you're gonna go down a little bit, and then stop there. Now here, this is where you're gonna do. You're gonna go like this. See right about here, this is his shoulder, see? You're gonna do these little loops like this. Two, three, four. Now coming out from there, you're gonna do one, two, three, four. Now from here, you're gonna do one, these are longer, two, three, Four. So far, so good. Now from here, these are gonna be the longest ones. These are his wing. You're gonna come out like this, right to about here, and then come down. Stop there. Bring another one, right about here. Out, right to about here, and stop. One more, out to about here, and stop. And then one more shorter one. Right through about here and then in like this. See how that looks like his wing? Now, from here, you're gonna do this. Make a little jag there, like that. Now you're gonna go up like this and you're gonna square it off a little bit. Well, not real square, but kind of rounded like that. And then another one starting here and then you're gonna get skinnier and then get skinny down there. One more doing the same thing. One here, and get skinnier down there. Good. Now, for his eye, you're gonna do this. You're gonna make a little piece of circle like that. See that? Then you're gonna make a tiny circle in there and then color in around it. So, see how he looks like he's got a circle with black and then a little circle in there, see? Like that. Okay, and a little dot here because birds have a nostril. Okay, now here you're gonna make another jagged thing like that. That's where his legs go. Now his legs are gonna go, they're not gonna go this way, they're gonna go down like this. Okay, like that, and they're kind of skinny then you're gonna do this. You're gonna go down and around, right here, down and around, down and around, and then up and over. Here you're gonna do the same thing with his leg. You're gonna go down like this and down like this. Give him a skinny little leg. 
then you're gonna go down and around, down and around, down and around, and then like that. Okay, so far so good. Now from here, you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do this. Okay, sitting on a branch. Now you don't want your branch to be, see how I'm doing it jagged like this? And you're gonna go up here like this, and then down like that. And then you're gonna go out, and then up. But you don't want it to be real smooth. I'll show you why. See how it's kind of jagged like? Same thing here. You're gonna make it a little jagged and then you're gonna come up here like this and then kind of like a broken little twig. And then you're gonna go up here like this. And here you're gonna follow it down like this. So it looks like a stick. Okay. Up here you're gonna to wanna to do this. You're gonna to wanna to make a little stem like that, see that? Then you're gonna make a leaf. You're gonna go like this, and you're just gonna go jagged like that, and then up, and then jagged like this, and go out, and then back, and then up like that, and a line going through the middle. That's what leaves do. And then you want to make your things that look like a leaf. Little tiny lines that go like this. They kind of swoop up. See how they swoop up like that? That's a leaf. And you're down here, you're going to have another little stem. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go like this and make it a little jagged. And then curve it. Jag it a little bit like this and then curve it. Want to make your line going through it don't make it straight with your little lines that come out you're curving down like this and you're curving down like this see that's another one we're going to do one more leaf a little stem jag it a little bit and then going out and then jag it a little bit like this and then coming out like that line don't make it straight and then your little lines going down like this to make it look like a leaf okay now for your for this you're gonna want to make a few lines going like this see that see what I'm doing I'm curving them and then where you have a space you curve it curve it curve it Curve, 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 and do those. I'll make them straight because it look, won't look like a branch. And then here you're going to make some lines on little squiggles going like this. See the squiggles? There's your squiggles. Yeah. And then here you're going to go like this, and then down, and then down this squiggle squiggle so it looks like a little broken piece of the branch down down okay here we're just gonna do this we're gonna give them an eyebrow and we're just gonna put little tiny tiny lines like that little tiny lines like that see that so it looks like maybe he's got some feathers going on there Birds have feathers, kind of like you have hair. And then down here, you're gonna want to put a little line here, a little line here, a little line here. Same thing with these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Nice and light. One, two, three, four. And then here, you want to do this. See what I'm doing? Little tiny lines going like that, make them look like feathers. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give them some hair. One, two, three. 
and here. I'm going to make a little line going here. This very little, very little. And then you're going to do this. A line here like 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 this. And then a black dot. And a black dot. And then another one like this. And then one like this. And then a black dot like that. And he's singing. Those are musical notes. And he's singing. So there's our bird. Tweet, tweet. <laughs>